What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Nicole Pludre. I'm a person in long-term recovery. My sobriety date is July 13th of 2015. And today we are going to be talking about gas station heroin. You heard me right. That's what I said. Gas station heroin. You're probably going, well, fuck, you can get gas, you can get heroin at gas station nowadays? Maybe you can get fucking drugs at places I never even believed you could get drugs back whenever I was using drugs. It's a whole new world today. So I'm about to share that information with you. We are going to be talking about Tianeptine. So let's get into this video. I also want to shout out Gypsy Rock. She's the one who asked me to kind of like talk a little bit more about this and share with you guys what gas station heroin actually is because I had made a short video on it. And um, in that short video, I didn't really get to go into details, like 60 seconds long. You know what I'm saying? So, gas station heroin, the um, scientific name for the medication is Tianeptine. Tianeptine is a, a tricyclic antidepressant that is not FDA approved in the United States of America. It is used over in Europe for anxiety and depression. When taken in large doses, Tianeptine does the same things that an opioid would do, okay? It gives you the same effects as heroin, Dilaudid, Oxycontin, um, Roxy's, fentanyl. Um, it gets you really, really fucked up. Now, on the street, it's been called gas station heroin because they're selling it at gas stations and head shops. Now, the name that it's called at these gas stations and head shops, it's in a little black bottle and it has a black and gold label that says Tia, Tia Red, Zaza, Zaza Red. Um, and that's what it has gone by over, you know, on the label on in these gas stations and these head shops. So people have figured out that when they take more than the recommended dose, right? <clears throat> They take an overdose of this because that's what an overdose is, is to take more than the recommended, suggested, or prescribed amount. Okay, when they take an overdose of this medication, it provides the same euphoric feelings that opioids do. But guess what else it does? It also provides the same fucking withdrawal that opioids do. And so what's happening is people are getting hooked on this shit and then they are in debilitating withdrawal and trying to come off of it and having a really hard time doing so. I first learned about Tianeptine over on TikTok. I met a girl who had been addicted to it for 15 months and she was taking um, over 15 pills at a time of this medication. Okay, and she said that the withdrawals from it were, if not the same as heroin, worse than heroin withdrawals. Okay, I also met a gentleman over on TikTok who has been taking it for the last, I think, two years, he said, taking three bottles of it a week or a day. I don't know if it was a week or a day, but he's taking a lot of it. It takes a lot to get this effect from it, and he said that his internal organs like his liver and kidneys are trying to shut down on him now and he's trying to get off of it and i reached out to him on TikTok and offered to help him find detox or a suboxone doctor or something like that to help him um but yeah this is crazy to me because it's like anybody can walk in to these head shops or gas stations and buy this medication and get hooked to it just like that bam a lot of people have asked me, Nicole, is Tianeptine the same as Kratom? No. These are two totally separate um, concoctions, okay? Kratom is a natural herb. It's a plant that grows in Southeast Asia on a tree, and they pull the leaves off, deep, 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 and then they dry the leaves off, and they create um, a powder with the Kratom, or Kratom, however you want to pronounce it okay um and yes kratom also gives you the same euphoric feeling that opioids do some kratom even gives you the effects that stimulants do it depends on what strain of kratom there's red white and i think yellow no red white and green are the strains uh, or the colors of whatever they call it i'm not a kratom expert don't don't judge me don't judge me okay i'm just sharing with you guys that kratom is a plant tianeptine is a 
is a tricyclic antidepressant that is not FDA approved in the United States that is used overseas in Europe, okay? Okay, so the girl that I was talking to that was addicted to TNF teen, like she vlogged her withdrawal from it and everything, you guys. And it was, it was tough. Like she really, really struggled to get off of it. And so I do not recommend it. Like, please do not go out there and buy this shit. Please do not tell other people to go get it. Like it's really dangerous and you could die. You know, you could overdose from this. You could overtake it and overdose. Um, so Anyways, I kind of wanted to come on here because Gypsy Rock asked me to share more information about what gas station heroin is, and that's what it is. Um, so yeah, I hope that, <laughs> this is really an easy video, you know, like, um, I don't, I'm not a scientist or a doctor or any of those things, so I'm not sure how it works. I just know that that's what it does. You know, I just know that it gets people high if they um, take a large quantity of it, and that's what people have been doing. And so please be safe out there. Don't just be going into the sh these head shops and buying things if you're struggling, okay? If you're going through withdrawal and you're on fentanyl or another opioid and you're trying to get off of it, reach out to me, you guys. I will help you get connected to a detox center. I can help you get connected with a doctor who can provide you with medications that will help you with your withdrawal. I can help you get onto Suboxone and get with a doctor who can help you do that. But don't take matters into your own hands. Like, seek out support, all right? Addiction, the opposite of addiction is connection, all right? So when you're all alone and you're taking your drugs and you're hiding out and you're and you're isolating, you feel like that you can't, you feel like you can't, you won't ever be able to get over that. You feel like hopeless, right? You feel like you are gonna be addicted to this drug for the rest of your life. And that's just not the case, honey. That's not how it has to be. And I'm living proof of that, okay? I was addicted to methamphetamine. I was addicted to cocaine. I was addicted to benzodiazepines. I was addicted to opioids. I was an alcoholic at one point in my life where I drank like a fish every single day. Like I have been addicted to so many different substances and I have been able to overcome all of those addictions. Now, I will tell you guys this, my addiction that I'm working on now is food addiction. And it's the hardest addiction that I've ever had. Out of all the drugs that I've been addicted to, the hardest thing for me to um, overcome has been binge eating disorder and food addiction. And so we'll be talking about that on my channel um, as I, you know, as I keep going and trying to figure out things that work for me, I just share them with you guys in real time as, as I find them, you know, and one of the things that has been helping me is the drinking the big jug of water. Um, that's been helping me to stay and at least be getting plenty of water throughout the day and try, and if I drink more water, then I'm more full, so I'm less likely to go binge. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Okay. So yeah, that's all I got to say about gas station heroin. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to reach out to that girl that I found on TikTok that was addicted to it and has been able to come off of it. And I'm going to ask her to come and share her experience with me here on the YouTube channel so you guys can hear from her what it was like to be addicted to gas station heroin, aka TNF teen, Zaza, Zaza Red that thing okay so i hope you guys enjoyed this little video remember my channel's not monetized if you guys want to support my channel the way you can do so is by clicking the link in the comment section that takes you to my patreon in my patreon i upload content almost every single day in there um i've recently uploaded two videos where i read my entire diary from 2013 when i was in active addiction and the next video i'm going to upload is a video of me and neil talking about the third degree battery charges that I pressed on my husband when he didn't really third degree battery me. It was a whole hot mess. But he remembers the stories a lot more better than I do. And so he can share them clearer with you guys because honestly, a lot of the stories that I've told y'all, I went back and asked my husband like what was going on or what happened. And he remembers it a very different way than I remember it. So I'm probably, I, I believe that he probably, I believe that what he remembers is more close to what really happened <laughs> than what I remember happening because I was so high and in psychosis so much when I was in active addiction. And so, um, 
that should be interesting. Um, we're going to spend July 4th today just like hanging out, but I'll get that video up with me and Neil chit-chatting um, on Patreon. So the only way you'll be able to see it is if you join the $5 tier. You know, my husband doesn't like go, he's not going to be on camera. He's probably just, you're just going to hear his voice, but he doesn't like coming on camera and that's not his thing. And so that's why I'm keeping it behind a paywall over on my Patreon. So I hope you guys understand and respect that decision. But if you want to support me, because my channel's not monetized, that's the way you can do it is by joining my Patreon. Okay. Um, so I love you guys. I hope you have a freaking safe and amazing 4th of July. If you need anything, you know how to get a hold of me. Send me a text or a DM on Instagram or Facebook. And I love you guys. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.